Hey everybody, so uh, it's been a little while since I made a tutorial or anything, so uh, I thought I'd uh, bring you one today, a little a little treat. So uh, let's get into it. Uh, today I'm going to teach you, not teach, but I'm going to show you a little, a little, a couple tips for um, uh, color correcting pictures in uh, Photoshop and making them look a little better than they, than they should, well not than they should, but than most people's would, because you know, you want yours to be better. So, uh, this picture was taken with a, an SLR camera. That's why it looks really good. And, um, first off, I'm gonna duplicate it. And then I'm gonna go to Mo Layer Adjustments and then Curves, which is always how I start every picture. So, Curves is a very powerful adjustment. Like, ooh, it's scary and powerful. No, but it's, uh, it's really good for editing ever. Even in like video I use it. Obviously a lot of people do. But uh yeah like I mean the it does such a drastic change. Like what you want to do is have it in an S curve always. Never the other way because it'll like make it a negative like negative colors and it'll look really terrible. So I want to keep it like that. And uh, it already looks better. So Next, I'm going to go to Adjustments again and go down to Shadows and Highlights. This is another really good thing, so um, if you never used it and it, it'll open up like this, just click Show More Options, and then you can pretty much mess with it. Like, it depends how dark or light your picture is to begin with, so, you know, you just got to go with what you what it looks like, what you think looks better. I mean, it changes some things, like you can barely tell on the shirt how it changes it, but, you know, whatever you think looks good, and that looks good too, so... Um, another thing, you can do, you can do vibrance really, but it doesn't matter, contrast and brightness, you don't really need that if you're using curves that much, unless you really want to change the contrast that much, but I don't think you really need that, so cancel that. Um, big thing, um, color balance, where is it, sorry, I usually use keyboard shortcuts, very cool very good for changing colors of the whole picture obviously that's how they got the name color balance <laughs> so you can pretty much mess with this until you get something that you like and there's no specific thing that I use every time pretty much just wing it and change these around till I see what I like and what looks pretty cool and just pretty much mess with it until I get something that I like. You don't want to do too far because then it just looks retarded. But yeah. I mean, that looks pretty cool, I guess. It looks. It gives it more color. It, it makes the colors look more pure, I guess, and pop out a little more. I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird. But I like it. So. Alright, I'm going to duplicate this one more time. Next, I'm going to go and zoom in and use my pen tool and outline this little girl because I'm weird. Now, I'm going to do something. I'll show you. But <clears throat> anyways, uh, as I'm outlining this, I'll just talk to you guys about stuff like uh, I've gotten, I just got over 3,000 subscribers, which is pretty cool. Uh, moving on up. Moving on up. Sorry, copyright. Don't kill me. Um, yeah, summer's here. Pretty cool, I guess. Not really doing much. Hanging out with friends and chilling, trying to find a job. Got an interview next Tuesday, which should be cool. Looking forward to that. Uh, pretty much that's it. It's really hard to find a job here. Probably is everywhere, I'm going to say. Especially if you're working for BP, you might want to go look for one. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, what are you guys doing for the summer? I mean, I don't know. It seems like every year people are just not doing anything anymore, unless you're, like, going out and partying, or hanging out with friends, you're not really, like, oh, well, I'm going out and going to camp or something, like, camp is, like, fading away, I don't know if it's just expensive, or it's, like, maybe it's just because I'm older, I mean, I'm 17, I'm going to my senior year in high school, looking forward to that somewhat, don't, I don't know, I don't really care, I just want to get into college, like, here in America, we go to school till we're 18 or 19, if you're retarded, uh, no offense, sorry, but <clears throat> it's 12 years, and then 
12th grade you go to college, unlike some European people, where they go, I think, like, my friend, uh, a couple people that I know in the UK and stuff are, uh, they're already in college and they're the same age or younger than me, and I'm like, yeah, that's bogus, but whatever. Uh, hard stuff. Next year I have easy classes, should be awesome. Should be easy A's all year. Going to Digital Design 3. Uh, really easy class. Don't really do much in there. Pretty much just make logos for school whenever they need it, which is like once a month, if that. We really don't do anything besides talk. Believe it or not, I suck at stuff at school. I don't know if it's a classroom, I don't think it's productive enough. Like, I don't know, I can't be creative in that. I usually do stuff at home when I'm listening to music, when I make my best stuff, I guess, in my terms, but <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I think that's me. Like, other people that I know, their stuff gets picked and it's really good and I like it. Mine just sucks because I'm just lazy, I guess. I don't know. But, uh, okay, now that I have this girl selected, I want to um, select the inverse of it. So I'm going to go to select, inverse, and go ahead and apply a Gaussian blur of about 5. Yeah, I already had it set. Cool. Okay, now I want to do this. Go to gradient map, click this little adjustment thing down here. Uh, excuse me, make a gradient map from black to white, which is probably the best way you can make a photo black and white. You can go to lawyer, adjustment, saturation, drag it, or you can even go to black and white. I think they have a new thing now. Where is it? Yeah, but I don't know. I've, I've been taught this way. I think it's the best. It looks the best. It comes out clearest and really good. So I, I use that. I don't know. Kill me if I'm wrong. But uh, I don't like it all the way because it looks retarded because I'm not 7. So I put it like 70%. You can just barely see through. It kind of gives it like a Sin City effect if you've seen that movie. I haven't actually, but I know what it looks like. It looks cool. It's like Max Payne. <clears throat> I don't know. I'm rambling too much. But uh, yeah. This girl, she, she sticks out really a lot. I'm going to connect these real quick. Okay. Uh, I'm going to reselect that. And select the inverse so I can just select the girl. And I'm gonna go to layer, adjustment layer, human saturation, sha 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 saturation, retarded, five, and put her at negative five. I don't want her to pop out too much. Yeah. Eh. Let me see if I can do ten on that. Ten. Maybe seven. That's good. Whatever. Uh this is cool, just a cool little, um, wow, I'm retarded. Ah, why would you freeze Photoshop? There we go. So, yeah. Changing it up, doing a little bit of a, I like, a little nice style I like to do with, uh, have one thing popping out, not too much though, and then fade the background, kind of blur it, and, um, desaturate it. I think it looks kind of cool, and I just got a text. From girlfriend, of course. Okay. Alright, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and delete these two bottom layers. Because I do need them. And I'm gonna go and save it. And I will put this in the, in the bottom, in the bottom bar. So, check that. Unless, I don't know, you can see it already. But, yeah, go ahead and check that out. And, uh, I hope you learned a couple things now. Use your curves, your saturation, your, God, your saturation. It's been a long day. Um, your curves, your color balance, and your shadow and highlights, and you will be set and good go, sir. So I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you learned some. and that's about it, guys. So I will talk to you guys later. Remember to thumbs up my videos, because it helps me out a lot, and subscribe. So thanks, guys. I'm Foley, and I'll see you later. Bye.